Welcome to our next lesson, the seven figure foundation principles. And in this lesson, we'll go over the following three principles. Number one, you're building a brand and not just a product. Number two, you should choose a market that you have interest in. And number three, be sure to give the market what the market wants. So principle number one, why do you want to build a brand and not just a product? Well, by building a brand, you're going to get a ton of benefits. You'll get higher profit margins, repeat customers, raving fans to market and launch new products to, free marketing, and a higher business valuation. The image on the right is a perfect example. This company called Rogue Fitness is one that Matt Clark and I came across about a year and a half ago when he was looking to build his own brand. They've become so popular and have such loyal fans that their products are used in all types of gyms and fitness centers across the United States. And every time that happens, that's the best type of marketing and advertising they could possibly hope for. This is the perfect example of why we want to build a brand and not just a product. As you build your brand, you'll also be developing a customer base of loyal raving fans. And those raving fans equal faster business scaling. Because launching products is so much faster and so much easier when you have an existing group of fans already looking to buy more products from you. Think about this interesting statistic. The probability of generating a sale from a new customer is somewhere between 5 and 20% but the probability jumps up to a staggering 60 to 70% when you're actually trying to make a sale from an existing customer. This means that building a brand will help you scale fast, scale efficiently, and achieve success much sooner. Now, speaking of scaling, let's take a look at some very simple ways to scale and grow your business just by adding products to your brand. Let's imagine you have one product that's doing about 10 sales a day at about $40 each. Well, that's $12,000 a month in revenue. If you add another product to your brand, that doubles that to $24,000 a month. And of course, five products would be $60,000. And if you get up to 10 products a month, all as part of your brand, that's $120,000 a month in revenue. Now, there's another method called cross-promoting. And this is a very simple method of taking one of your products and simply offering it to other people who have purchased another product. So let's imagine that 20% of those people take you up on that offer. Well, you've just increased your monthly revenue to $144,000 with basically no effort at all. That's how powerful a brand is and how much it helps you scale. And for a very easy way to see what cross-promoting is, take a look at what Amazon does every single day. The frequently bought together is a simple way of cross-promoting products. This one right here shows up every single day. Someone buys one of these spatulas by a company called OXO, Amazon automatically cross promotes two other products that they know or feel that customer would like. That is a dead simple, easy way to scale your business through cross promoting. So if scaling is so powerful and is the fastest and easiest way to get you to increase your sales and grow your business, why are we telling you to start with one product only? Well, that's because scaling requires efficiency. There is a lot to learn and your first product is your chance to truly master this process. Now, once you fully launched one product, then you can easily repeat the process later on, but definitely start with one product and plan on building an entire brand. The seven figure foundation principle number two is to choose a market that you have interest in. So let's take a look at your ideal brand graphically. In the left hand circle, that represents all the markets that you have some type of interest in. The right hand circle, that represents all the markets that Amazon has great product opportunities in. And where those two circles overlap, that's where your ideal brand exists. Here's why being interested in your market matters. You're going to better understand what people like and don't like about existing products, especially during the product research phase. You'll be a natural tester for your products and you'll automatically think of new content ideas when promoting your products. When you get samples in, you'll be able to evaluate them because you're interested and most likely have used something similar. It'll be easier for you to market your products as well because you know a lot about them. You're going to be more excited about your business and your brand, and you'll sell a higher quality of products because you'll demand that from something you're interested in. It's important to keep in mind, though, that interest does not equal passion. The goal here is to build a successful business that meets your personal and financial goals. If you want to change the world, it'll be much easier to do that once you've achieved success. So pick a market that you're interested in in order to greatly increase the speed to your success. Don't worry about picking a market that you're passionate about. That can always come later. Remember, you don't have to nor want to strive for perfection. 
be sure to follow the system, ensure product quality, and always move forward no matter what. So now it's time for an exercise where we're gonna build a list of potential markets that you could sell your product and build your brand in. This list will be used during the product selection phase in module one. So here's some examples. Uh, I like to exercise, so a possible market for me could be sports and fitness. I also like to cook, so kitchen and dining could be another market that I could sell in. So let's spend the next 10 minutes doing this. I want you to create a list of 10 to 15 potential markets that you're interested in. Here are some suggestions for that. Look around your house and look for things that you use regularly. Think about what hobbies do you have. Also think about what do you enjoy doing after work or what do you enjoy doing most on the weekends. You can even look at what you bought over the past few months and check your Amazon history. It keeps track of all those things. Now go do that, pause this video, and then come back once you're done. You can take your list of potential marks to sell in and save that for the next module when you actually do the product selection. Because now we're going to talk about principle number three, give the market what the market wants. The fastest way to success in this business is to take an existing product that's already selling well and simply approve upon it. This indicates that there's already market potential out there and that's an easy sales opportunity. The riskiest way to build a business is to invent something brand new that you don't even know if there's a potential for yet. Now, how do we know what the market wants? Well, it's simple. Amazon already tells us that. If you take a look at Amazon's best sellers, you'll see right here on their own website what products people are buying the most. This is the easiest and clearest indication of market potential and telling us what the market wants. With Amazon already telling us exactly what the market wants, there's absolutely no reason to invent a product just because you think there will be interest or a market for it. There are tens of thousands of products people already want. So there's no reason you can't find a good opportunity that's also in a market that you have interest in. So let's review the seven figure foundation principles. Principle number one is that you're building a brand and not just a product. Having a brand will make scaling and achieving success much easier and faster. Principle number two is to choose a market that you have interest in. It'll increase your excitement, ensure product quality, and make creating your brand faster and easier. And principle number three is to give the market what the market wants. Amazon already tells us exactly what people want in every market possible, and this is by far the fastest, safest, and easiest way to success.